and we are live hello everyone can you guys see us and hear us confirm in the chat If we are, yeah, we are live. Twelve people are watching, and we are yet to receive a confirmation. Hi, Ramon. Hi, Niraj. Now, I think we are actually live. Hi, Ganu. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Hi, Govin. Welcome, welcome back. Hello, Dwarkanath. Hi, Zamsul. Yeah, do let us know from where, which country are you from, so we can say hi. <laughs> hi, Ragul. Welcome back. Yeah, so a few updates before we begin. Now, Build with Usain has a Discord server that you can join. I will link to it soon, and. Apart from that, uh, you can notice some changes that this specs have changed because <laughs> this has become this. <laughs> so that's fine. We'll try to get it repaired otherwise. Cool. So we have Rucha today on the show. And hi, Rucha. Hi, Hussein. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah. So she is a lead engineering lead slash lead product developer at Frappe, and she works on Frappe HR. She will tell you more about it. That's why we are here today. So over to you, Rucha. Now you can, yeah. what's the agenda? What, what are we going to do today? Yeah. So hello everyone. Thanks for joining on a Friday evening. Um, <laughs> so uh, there have been, like we had announced that we'll be building a Frappe HR mobile app uh, to bring everyday ops to your fingertips. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we announced that people have been following up a lot, like that's the only question we get everywhere we go, be it FOSS United conference or our own conference or anything else. I think there was a meme, like, I don't know where it is now, but uh, <laughs> that you posted some time ago. <laughs> yeah, it was on game plan. So yeah, it was on game plan. Let me fetch it. You can continue. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, uh, yeah, today is the day that we'll witness the live release and a walkthrough of the mobile app. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we, at the end, you know, we can take questions uh, or any queries that you have. Uh, so this uh, mobile app will now be available in version 15 uh, for Frappe HR. Nice. So today is the day. <laughs> Sajad says, hi, and Beard is looking good. Yeah, I'm trying to... <laughs> maintain it <laughs> but yeah let's see how it goes so let me just switch to my screen share and i will show you this <laughs> meme that <laughs> rucha had posted so yeah cool now i will switch to rucha's screen <laughs> enough fun yeah rucha uh, your screen is now visible you can mm. proceed yeah so i have this freshly created uh version 15 release PR that our Frappe PR bot has created. You can mm -hmm. see a lot of changes. The entire PWA mobile app code is going here. So I'll just merge this to generate a release. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, so almost all the processes uh, on Git, like, you know, all the uh, releases, generating release notes, all of that, we have GitHub actions to our rescue. So we have uh, PRs that get generated every Wednesday for Frappe, ERP, Next, and HR. And uh, on releasing, like merging the pull request, a release is created. So let's hope we see the release here 
soon. It's all automated, I guess. Yeah. Ah, there is the release. Cool. So nice. we can clap it will, now, it I guess. <laughs> also, uh, like rewrite the release notes, which are a bit more readable based on the mm. uh, PR mm-hmm. titles. So yeah, you can see this is all what it comprises of. Now that we have our version point uh, with PWA. I guess we can go ahead and update uh, some of our benches. So uh, currently this site is at 15.4.1. By the way, this is Frappe Cloud. Uh, You can easily manage, you know, releases and updates uh, through Frappe Cloud without writing any commands. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. So let's... So it automatically pulled the... As soon as you released it, like pulled that latest commit... And now yeah. you can just click on update and it will. Yeah. So this also provides me an additional step to uh, like on the bench if I want to uh, update the site also after the bench is updated. So this saves my mm-hmm. time. So I'm going to schedule an update here. Yeah, I think this recently Ritwik, uh, uh, Ritwik yeah. updated this, like added this feature a month or two ago. This is nice, by the way. I use it all the time. Yeah. So we'll... Cool. Uh, look into this and uh, we'll also do a like public bench release after this till then uh, like Mm -hmm. while this is going on we can just take a look at uh, what this mobile app uh, installation looks like so Mm -hmm. uh, basically this is available uh, this is a progressive web app means it's a installable site so it's not published on any app store like you know, uh, Mm -hmm. Apple or our Play Store, but it is available from your uh, hosted instance itself. So let's say my site name is frappeio.frappe.cloud, then I can Mm -hmm. go to uh, my site name slash HRMS to uh, get the apps uh, pop up for install. And Mm -hmm. uh, so I can do this on my mobile browser. Uh, So if you're on Android, uh, go with Chrome. If you are on iOS, go with Safari. Firefox is a little bit of a pain when it comes to (laughs) PWA installation. You need a plugin and all. So Mm -hmm. uh, we won't recommend that. Stick to Chrome and Safari. So Mm -hmm. if you can see on Android, you will get a pop-up saying, uh, you know, install the app on your phone. And Mm -hmm. uh, you can go ahead and install. So this is a short GIF of uh, the process. And once Mm -hmm. you install the app icon will be available in your home screen. Similarly for iOS, uh, the steps are a bit different. So there is a banner which shows you instructions on how to install the app. So you have to tap the share button and Mm -hmm. there is a menu called add to home screen. Uh, So you can add the app uh, to your home screen from there. And if you don't, in case you don't find this menu, add to home screen, uh, you can see this Frappe HR app just got uh, installed on this in this GIF. So if you don't find this option, you can go to uh, edit actions in your share pop-up and you will find it. So yeah, so this is the entire like installation process you will find on our website. Cool. Uh, let's just look at where our... Deploys. Yeah, the deploy. yeah it, it, it's done. So cool. I think the site is being So my site now. is, yeah. Cool. So if you are already, already on V15, you just need to update. That's it. Yeah. If you are in V14, then I think you have to update to V15 first, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So move to V15 latest release and like you will be good to go. Uh, Okay, so we are at the last step, which is like building search index. Uh, This is like pulling up a stunt. Uh, No (laughs) engineer will recommend updating production on a Friday evening. (laughs) That's what we do. (laughs) Lot of stunts, right? Yeah. (laughs) We are done. Um, Nice. Cool. 
just a check to see if yeah yeah cool cool yes uh, and we can also schedule now that we have like done the test run for this mm -hmm. we can schedule the uh, public bench release yeah, yeah so that everyone else also gets to update it by the end of the live stream so yep. there are a lot of releases uh and yeah, just yeah skip we can and deploy skip i think deploy. it automatically will update in some time that's fine public benches yeah so if you are created a v15 site without a private bench you also get this now like after some time by i think by the end of the stream it will be done cool we can just pray and hope <laughs> that this goes through <laughs> cool nice. uh so now i have i mm -hmm. should have the app on like i'll go through the installation process so let me just share mirror my screen yeah add should demo right i have yep it's visible now cool um You just have to go to your site slash HRMS. Uh, yeah. This is throwing Safari me H. back to yeah. Uh, I think the deployment the site. I think site URL might be wrong. In that case, it throws. Uh, let me just check. Uh, so for HR dash mobile dash. Okay, it's mobile app. app. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. My bad. No, no, no issues. So Ganu says, by the way, whiteboard is extraordinary. Oh, that app we built last weekend. Uh, that works flawlessly. I, I just like, so he just published it and he says me, okay, I published this. Now add a go, go ahead, just add a logo and it's done. I use it. Like I started using it for the training yesterday. It works. Give it a try. A uh, good day, Kenneth. Welcome back. How are you doing? Ah, yeah, here cool. it is. So there was a yeah. banner telling me how to install the app. So now I can go ahead and you can see there is an add to home screen uh, option over here. So mm -hmm. if you don't find that, you can go to edit actions and maybe find it here. I already have it. Mm -hmm. So I already have like other site test site installed as well. So let me just name this V15 so that I don't mess mm -hmm. it up. Cool. So Free for HRs. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. So now I got the uh, splash screen, the splash screen, and I'm into the app. So I've logged in. This uses the same cool. credentials that you have on your site. Yeah. yeah. So this is the first look. Like you can see, there is a check-in panel which greets you with uh, the last check-in or check-out time <laughs> that you have mm -hmm. in the system. Mm -hmm. Then there are some quick links to like request or leave uh, claim and expense uh, request advance view salary slips all of that uh, there is a request panel which we'll come to later on and you can see the uh, the menu like the tab menu below which shows you like leaves expenses and salary uh, apart from this so yeah so we'll walk through this one by one uh, firstly the simple check-in check-out if you uh, remember like now how it is you have to go to desk and create go to employee check-in list and create a new check-in record <laughs> it doesn't even like capture the current time so oh. that is all manual or but most of the people have biometric integrated uh but for people who go on field to work away from their offices this mobile app will be handy to quickly check in, check out. So this is showing me I have checked in at 9.51 a.m. So I can just check out. It will confirm my time. And yes. so Smooth. my checkout yeah, was successful. Mm -hmm. So it shows me my last checkout was at 6.14. So even if you go for breaks or something, you can quickly check in, check out to mm -hmm. have your working hours uh, correct. And this soon will have an upgrade to have uh, like geolocation tagging and uh, like geolocation based attendance. 
so makes sense that is also a new upcoming enhancement so let's see so under the leave tab we can see the leave balance for all our leave types so there is casual leave or leave i don't so why take is that 15.9 so it's so like 15.9 uh, yeah yeah so in case of uh, earned leaves uh, mm-hmm. it is also assigned on a fractional basis because oh, okay. what they I... do is uh, they mm-hmm. uh define a annual quota and then mm-hmm. every month uh you get some part of it so so earned oh, okay. leaves are usually fractional but uh, i didn't yeah. know that I, i always thought like either you have a day or you don't have a day <laughs> it's like yeah okay so you have to work for 2 hours and then you don't work kind of like that <laughs> yeah so it seems this person doesn't take leaves at all so <laughs> the balance is full <laughs> Uh, or or he has applied but no one has approved it so <laughs> yeah probably sad life and so uh, you can see all your recent leaves over here uh and then there is uh, this is open as you said no one approved hmm. and you see a upcoming holidays section so here you will see like top 5 upcoming holidays in the year so mm-hmm. our year ends with christmas you can open to see the entire holiday list so this shows you uh like throughout the year all the holidays that have happened so uh the ones have that have already gone are grayed, grayed out, out. Mm-hmm. uh and this is also a good tool for you to like schedule your uh vacations and because you can see the day so you can make use of long weekends to plan yeah, your yeah. so i will tell uh, you one things like before this right I never used to check my holiday list on anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The group message came. Okay. I. 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 One day I like messaged Faris. Okay. Stand up, right? And he says, "Okay, today is a holiday. Why? Why do you want?" To? <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I know that. Okay. Like, I have it on home screen for a few weeks now, and I'm like using all of the feature almost. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Yeah, you were the first one to install the app from from Frappe. I remember. So. Ah, nice. cool so this is the holiday list uh as you change the year uh like the list will keep on changing and uh, mm-hmm. now let's go and like see how to request a leave so maybe mm-hmm. i can apply for sick leave for to uh, tomorrow is a holiday uh maybe let's say today only i didn't work so uh not feeling and then the approver and your current leave balance is automatically pulled in so you just need to select the leave type the dates mm-hmm. and uh, the reason so my application was created mm-hmm. and so my user has uh, an admin hr manager role so i have like workflow actions your will come to that later and there are some other things you are like reloading a doc or Uh, deleting mm-hmm. uh so cool so we can go to a uh, list of uh, leaves and you can see there is a uh, sick leave so the list views have a general uh, differentiation between your documents and your team's documents because for hr it makes sense that you usually mm-hmm. are concerned with your own documents only mm-hmm. so so in every list view be it leave be it expense claim uh, this general uh, bifurcation is going to be there and then mm-hmm. you you have filters so pill based filters for status and other filters like based on link mm-hmm. fields and so on so i want to see all the uh, okay i think i have workflow set up so something of um Okay, one team. casual leave. Yeah. So under team and team, you have two casual leaves. I can clear filters. Uh, yeah. So you can go and check a particular doc. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Very simple. Nothing to explain over here. So. Uh, after leave, we have expenses. So just like leave balance. uh the thing we see here is uh, expense claim summary so you see your total expense amount 
pending approved rejected amount by the way i like this like this ui very much like it's very sleek yeah. the card and the layout of the buttons like so yeah nice. i had to i like the like pre espresso uh, period but then when i implemented espresso after a few weeks my eyes got adjusted to black so <laughs> now whenever i see blue primary button i just <laughs> can't handle <can't>. <laughs> yeah like every time i log into frappe cloud like the behind the scene of frappe cloud it is blue right like they haven't yeah, upgraded yeah. it yet so i like okay this was how it was before now i can't handle it now yeah so even before i think in version 12 we had purple uh, primary uh, yeah i i just i think i joined right just before yeah. the release of v13 so i i never worked with v12 <laughs> but i have seen the screenshots then like, yeah cool so you can see the recent expenses just like leaves uh, status uh, this is approved but unpaid so on and so forth and then there is something called as uh, employee advance so um, claims is when you actually make a make an expense and claim it uh, for the mm-hmm. company to give back money to you but mm-hmm. advance is let's say you are a sales person and you are going to a trip a uh, business trip and mm-hmm. like company gives you some amount of advance for mm-hmm. your travel and everything and then mm-hmm. you come and claim uh, like part of what was spent over there so uh, makes sense yeah so based on that if like there is more outstanding amount uh, from what was already paid to you then a separate payment is made or your claims are settled against your advance um, or salary can yeah uh, yeah so yeah yeah so uh if you have like more advance amount you can also return it via an additional salary or uh, like it will get deducted from your salary okay. so so this is more like a wallet so you see uh, how much is the wallet balance for for you know two advances that i have got i can also go ahead and like request an advance from here uh, let's say i want to go for a trip i can enter the purpose advance amount and all of that um So yeah, so this is the entire uh, like employee advance list. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, similar list views you can filter based on status. Um, okay, nothing is claimed. Uh, so there is a question. Uh, just quickly, so yeah. Muhammad Ali Ahmed asks, will it be available only on Frappe Cloud? Uh, as in, uh, no. So this. is in version 15 so even if you have a self hosted site you can go to your site name slash hrms and get the mobile app on your phone yeah it's like 100% open source right no open code thing yeah like everything available to everyone self hosted traffic law right. doesn't matter correct so um just like leaves we can also look quickly have a look at expense claim also one more thing was if you have seen the expense claim view from the desk mm-hmm. uh it usually just shows the employee name in the list and uh, because all your expenses are in the child table so until you open an expense you can't recollect what you created that for so in the mobile app it's uh, like it fetches your uh, number of expenses and shows at least the first expense claim type mm-hmm. uh, so this is for medical this was for travel so mm-hmm. on and so forth so so yeah this is a bit more intuitive than what we had so i can quickly go ahead and create an expense uh my expense approver is pulled in uh date is let's say today so um maybe a travel expense uh mumbai to bangalore and i can add some amount so my expense was added i if there are like taxes applicable on this i can also go ahead and add that uh and one good part about this is uh, your advances get auto allocated against your expenses so let's say currently i have 5000 of expense and i have two advances which are not yet you know claimed mm-hmm. so it will distribute my amount uh, from 5000 i can you know use the 4700 from my advances but mm-hmm. i can also choose and not use it or edit the amount for a particular advance uh mm-hmm. even that is possible nice. so 
and then there is like totals so you see claimed amount or uh, payable account all of that uh so i can create an expense and now let's say i want to upload the proof so um i can take a photo maybe and yeah so this is i can see the preview mm -hmm. uh apart from photo like if you want to uh, okay great um <laughs> so i can put in receipts so yeah uh so my receipts have got uh, like uploaded with this claim so this is a proof of uh, whatever expenses i have made mm -hmm. yeah generally like you have to attach the invoice yeah yeah so yeah so this was a quick like summary of how to create mm -hmm. expenses would um, you like to take a question now uh, i think there yeah. is a question uh, so if there are some customization on doc types like for leaves a field for second in command would that appear in the pwa like would it mean that the ui would reflect the new field uh yeah so custom fields are pulled in uh what this does is pulls uh, the meta from the doc type so all the custom fields will also be shown in uh the form for example in frappe we have two check boxes in expense claim for, whether it's for mumbai visit or uh mm -hmm. you know because it's a remote company so people keep coming to mumbai and claim their expenses so <laughs> so yeah that check box shows up and we use it internally um mm -hmm. Uh, yeah so apart from just pulling the check box uh, like the mandatory uh check is also applied on all meta field so even if you make a custom field mandatory it will uh hold the validation true so nice. yeah so customizations are there uh, rehan asked have any customization or workflow workflow handled in app yeah yeah so workflow is also handled we'll come to that in a bit sure, uh sure. cool so this was about expenses and uh, then there is salary right so uh, this is the year to date salary that you get uh, you have gotten from the company mm -hmm. uh, and then these are the payroll periods so you can filter the salary slips based on your payroll periods and mm -hmm. you see your list below with your uh, gross and net pay and uh, go and open some salary slip so you see your uh, earnings and deductions this mm -hmm. is by the way just a test salary slip yeah so, yeah not 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 your actual salary yeah yeah, yeah. got just, it <laughs> yeah uh don't don't hold whatever like <laughs> yeah not so reality. yeah so you can go ahead and like check your salary slips here and uh, there is a download pdf option so you can see my salary slip pdf got downloaded so i can save it to my phone uh, yeah, or send it to the ca <laughs> yeah yeah so whatever Usually, i use it that way okay he sends me like okay give me 3 months salary slip and usually what i did earlier was like because it's for easier to find for the email than to open the computer and <laughs> look for it i used to search for sal slip and then download it yeah. from the email now it's like okay it's on yeah. your phone then it's easier this is easier one more thing i was thinking of having a bulk salary slip download for that would be nice entire, yeah financial <laughs> at least year. the financial year nice yeah last three months also makes sense so uh, like the banks right they have this uh, last three months last six months and then financial year so maybe three right. options like this that, that would be very yeah, useful yeah we could do that so yeah that's in my list Uh so this was about uh, leaves expenses and salary and uh, another thing is uh, you get notifications over here so basically if some uh, you have raised some leave and expense and uh, uh like you it got approved then you will be notified of who approved your claim or expense similarly if you are an approver also you will get uh, the notification on or all the documents that are waiting for your approval if you are mm -hmm. the approver uh, leave approver or expense approver uh, so yeah so this comes in handy one more thing i missed was uh, so that uh, for uh, the mobile app we have used uh, ionic so 
the action sheets that you see and some other things like we have pulled to refresh uh, to give it the native view. So if mm -hmm. by any chance, like the recent documents are not loading, you can just pull to refresh in list views. Nice. UX. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we will try to make it even better. Uh, okay. And the next thing is like your profile. So uh, you can see all your employee details over your uh, gender, uh, date of joining, your uh, company details, department designation, who do you report to, uh, employment type, uh, contact information, and salary information. Uh, currently, my master doesn't have any data, but you'll be able to see pan and all later on. Uh, even editing your profile will be possible from your currently it's only like a view only uh, thing. Yeah, so, and salary like mostly this kind of data are like edited by HR. So yeah, managers, but mm -hmm. uh, small things like pan and all can be maybe submitted yeah, by the employer. Makes sense. So I have why I'm telling this like what what I, I recently changed my bank account and like I asked Prakash to update the bank account and what I did was like. I waited a day and then probably they were going to update it, but I went ahead and edited the records and Leslie Dell was like, please don't edit your records manually. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it, that for you. <laughs> it reflects in your payroll and everywhere. So I think they are more aware of the wiring. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, cool. So the other question was about uh, uh, workflow. workflows, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So you can see this request panel over here, wherein you see your your request that is, this is by the way unified. So this is not just leave, it's leave plus claims, even from your team. So basically these are all the requests that are waiting for your approval mm -hmm. uh, based on workflow or approval fee. Uh, so if the doc type has a workflow, uh, then uh, based on your role, you will be able to, uh, you know, approve, uh, whatever state the workflow allows you to uh, based on permissions and workflow. So if I open this, I see a workflow actions over here. So approve and reject. Uh, so I can see the entire summary. This saves me some time because I don't have to go to the form, leave application form and review everything. So I can just see the reason, something like that and like approve and uh, yeah. Uh, then there are uh, other even for claim it's similar so you can you can even see the attachments uh, previews like their proofs over here mm -hmm. and approve or reject the claims and all that so mm -hmm. yeah and for your own uh, requests like if you have set up a workflow and uh, you know self approval is enabled then you will see this approve reject button or you will just see the summary if you don't have permissions based on the workflow to approve your own requests. Mm -hmm. So for example, in this case, I, uh, I can cancel it, uh, uh, because it's already submitted. So mm -hmm. things like that. So this, uh, section will help you with all the, uh, uh, keep you up to date with all the requests that need your attention. Uh, mm -hmm. if, the volume is huge because this just shows like top 10 requests mm -hmm. from leaves and claims. Uh, you can always like go to your uh, leave, uh, like forms and then there is also an action button over here. So this is like two levels of approval approved. It's already approved and then approved by manager. Okay. So this is my workflow. So workflows and, work nice. Yeah. So then next action is cancel. Uh, if I don't want to do this, I just, I can just dismiss this. So, mm -hmm. so things like that. So, uh, you will get these actions everywhere based on the workflow setup of that doc type. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, pretty much, uh, cool. So here now there is no workflow and it's already submitted. So I get a cancel button. All this is permission sensitive. So if you don't have the permission to cancel a particular document, uh, this won't be visible. Uh, so yeah, I think I have covered uh, everything. Yeah, mostly. 
Cool. So if there are any questions. Yeah, there or... are many. <laughs> so we yeah. can start with, uh, let's go to the top. So Mohammed Ali asks only for those who using, using V15 or develop uh, branch too. Yeah, yeah, this is only in V15 and develop, mm-hmm. not in V14 because this is like a massive change um, that is happening. So yeah, uh, brand new feature. Okay, version 15 also, I think all deploys are done. Nice. So now you can go ahead, create an like new site on Frappe Cloud on public bench, probably pick $10 plan, try it out, go ahead. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can use the docs to like install the site, uh, yeah. all of, or install the app on your phones. So yeah. cool. Cool. So maybe keep a different tab open and then yeah. this is causing the recursion. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So the second question is, uh, is, it support RTL or Arabic? Uh, currently, no, it doesn't support even the translation part. So mm-hmm. that is also in the list to mm-hmm. like take all the translations from Frappe HR, which are already present and make mm-hmm. the UI, you know, uh, translation friendly. So, so yeah, so that then the currency format is also based on like international standardization with your Mm -hmm. currency and everything uh, like Mm -hmm. dollars and based on that it shows properly but doesn't respect your system settings so all these things are uh, like depth wise implementation will be taken up Uh, but Mm -hmm. the most important part was I think going and creating things uh, managing approvals workflows Mm -hmm. uh, downloading payslips yeah so Yeah. yeah the the main part is available. Yeah, ninety five percent is done. I guess like now it will be the yeah. core five percent stuff. Uh, so the next question is, yeah, I know kind of know the answer to this, but shall we get push notifications for mobile app? Uh, so we are working on something for push notifications. Something like like we are trying out a central relay server for Frappe Cloud, which will handle you know all push notifications for all fc hosted sites uh mm-hmm. with uh firebase cloud messaging uh mm-hmm. so that project is being worked on we are working on some experiments uh to handle the scale mm-hmm. so yeah i think we'll have push notifications soon as well nice so the next question is can i get custom print format get in this app so i think they are talking about salary slips so what currently it does is uh it uh even when when you get a salary slip email it fetches the default print format that is set in your doc type so if you make a custom format and set that as default then your mm-hmm. salary slip will be downloaded in that format mm-hmm. so it uses the standard format as a fallback but mm-hmm. your default format is used so you can create any format and slips will be downloaded in that format uh, cool. if it's set as default makes sense so the next question is will the app work if my site is deployed in the local network not having public IP employees usually connect to ERP next via VPN if they are away uh, should like if your site is accessible then they I, should be accessible yeah, yeah I don't think it should be a problem but uh, like we also have a few customers using VPN so uh, there will be trials with that. So if yeah, there it, are it any issues, work. yeah. Hmm. yeah. Uh, so Mohammed uh, Samshul Sheikh asks, can I create dashboard? Uh, dashboards for in mobile app, it's like desk is better to view dashboards and stuff like that. Yeah. Get like basic info over here for lead balance and claim summary and all those things. Yeah, this is more for like on the go stuff, right? So if yeah, you want yeah. like more deeper, anyways, you can log into desk and it is also mobile friendly kind of. So yeah, cool. That is second thing. Do we have, can we be able to see reports in PW? Again, the same answer, I guess, like open up desk, view the reports. Yeah. So this is mostly an ESS user come HR manager uh, mm-hmm. uh, app, which is created to like, 
is their everyday ops and report views usually are very data heavy so you would mm-hmm. even if we add it on mobile you wouldn't uh, want to view such data heavy uis on mobile yeah. right so yeah it yeah, makes sense yeah like uh so neeraj ask do we have dark theme support so <laughs> this question i can take so like we have plans on bringing espresso like the design system to dark mode and once that comes right every app gets dark mode like because yeah. whatever is built with frappe ui uh, which brings to the next question what, which stack this app is made on top of which i can take uh, the last yeah one. so this is uh, uh, built on frappe ui like espresso but uh, some theming has been changed to make it more mobile friendly for example espresso is made with like compact design uh there is not much spacing uh, even the buttons are smaller but when you are interacting on mobile you need a larger tap space right uh, like for example if you go to some view and you need to go back so that tap shouldn't be so small that it doesn't it hinders your user experience so some things have been bumped up uh, like that with espresso so mm-hmm. goal is to also move this through to espresso to like be able to create mobile friendly uh, ui with larger buttons and larger tap spaces or uh, mm-hmm. texts which are familiar like uh, easy to easy on your eye and all that and the second thing is ionic so if you see these action sheets and the pull to refresh that i showed you in the list views uh, so this comes from ionic uh, uh, like uh, it's easy uh, you know action sheet is very uh, user friendly because when you are using the phone you use the bottom part the most right uh, so all your actions and buttons need to be at the bottom uh, unlike desk which has you know save button on the top right side mm-hmm. for mobile it's yeah so yeah it's frappe framework uh, ionic and frappe ui that's the stack Ionic plus Vue, so Frappe UI runs on Vue. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, then there is question: Any plans to add attendance? Mohammad Ali asks. So attendance, as I said, currently it's check-in. So uh, these four tabs that you see, you will also have an attendance tab over here where you will have like geolocation-based attendance, and it will also show you the attendance uh, summary for the month. Uh, you know. all the absent present days or even attendance request is going to be a part of that so yeah that is um in the road map nice so two questions is it available on the play store is it available on the store uh no so as i mentioned in the beginning uh this is a progressive web app so it's uh like you can install it from the web itself so mm-hmm. uh, this is the mobile app installation guide on frappehr.com docs so mm-hmm. you have I'll to share it in the, the chat yeah uh, chat. you just have to go to uh, your site name slash hrms and then you get this if you are on android it detects your device so android you get this pop up to install and ios you have to uh, like click on the share button and add to home screen so instructions are written here so uh, that whole uh, install update cycle through app stores is uh, completely like uh, eliminated uh, yeah. yeah so this is auto updated as soon as you update your site from frappe cloud or mm-hmm. wherever it's installed uh, so your app will also update with whatever changes have been done in the mobile app so mm-hmm. that you don't need to manage updates separately for all your users it yeah, makes sense that was the major decision behind yeah. like going the pwa right yeah because like okay you have 100 employees you can't ask them all to update the app if you just yeah. push a custom field or something correct so that was the uh so and can a single app be used with multiple instances of frappe hr like by providing the domain before connecting uh so this is like uh, like i showed right in my uh one second yeah it's just like multiple sites right so yeah multiple sites so even if you have like a multi site thing uh mm-hmm. like for example here i have 
Frappe HR V15 site and this is my Frappe.io and this is my test site. So I have like three, three sites. So when you like add this app to home screen, you get an option to uh, configure the name by which this gets added, right? So, so you can add multiple sites with their names here. So that is possible. Yeah. So then Adil asks, how does this differ from progressive web app accessed through browser? So this is just installed on your, so there are different modes of progressive web app. There is standalone mode wherein uh, like this is the standalone mode. You don't see the browser URL. Okay. Web app. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't see the search or the reload, whatever browser uh, you interface over here. So this is a standalone mode and what you access on the uh, web is not the standalone mode. So, so this uh, is done to make it more, uh, you know, native and uh, it's installable in a standalone mode. So this is a progressive web app only. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, some ideas to like extend this PWA to desk, uh, not desk, but uh, uh, like your desktop to have an ESS portal uh, with a custom UI, like how Frappe Cloud has a dashboard uh, facing the users. So these ev everyday ops can also be, sense. yeah converted into a ESS portal uh, with the same mm -hmm. layer. I think this can be opened in like the browser as well, right? In the desktop browser as well. Yeah, won't, yeah. It won't look good, but it can be. Yeah. Currently the design and all is very like mobile friendly. So I wouldn't recommend using this UI on the browser, like use it mm -hmm. for what it's made for. And then when <laughs> we get the ESS portal in place, you can play around with that. So Patrick asks, can we make custom changes to the app like logo and other stuff? No, that's not possible. So fork. all this, yeah, fork. So PWA is <laughs> basically uh, to make it standalone, we provide a manifest file. So if you have ever worked with Android apps or some, you have a manifest file, right? So mm -hmm. this also has a manifest file with the app uh, icon name and, uh, uh, you know, the start URL from which the app, uh, like navigation starts and so on so uh, the all these things are configured in the app itself so it's not possible to make it customizable as far as i know yeah yeah if it's like very very serious business and you still want to customize them fork is the only way to go yeah you yeah. you can fork and like change the manifest file like power of that. open source right <laughs> yeah uh, uh, so there is a question. Is this made by Frappe or some third party like game plan? Okay. Uh, game plan is also made by, by Frappe. Frappe. But... Yeah. Our own Faris Ansari. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Faris <laughs> built game plan. Uh, so this is made by Frappe only. Uh, yeah. Rucha, Rucha works with Frappe. Yeah, yeah. I am from Frappe. So I have been working on this mobile app for the past few months on and off yeah cool any questions remaining i want to contribute hi how can i can contribute to it uh, i have posted the github link you can check out yeah, yeah. so it's in version 15 branch under the front end folder we have all the pwa code so it's it's in view uh so you can check that out it uses frappe ui view yeah, nice. Maybe you can show the GitHub repo as well. Yeah. So cool. We are very on time. Uh, so yeah, so this, you can see the front end folder wherein you have all the wheat config, uh, all your code, your router components. These are all the view components for the PWA. So yeah, this is, it's in version 15 and develop. So if you want to contribute, you can just check out the Frappe HR repo. Cool. Uh, 
Cool. So Adil asks, is it possible to publish a guideline to convert PWF wrap apps into such an Ionic mobile application? Uh, so, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I will yeah. rant later. Uh, so uh, like whatever UIs we built, like even the this thing of uh, the child table, right? It, uh, it's data heavy, but on phone, it should look better. All the components. Uh, taken up from Frappe UI. So uh, we want to extract out all the common parts of this into Frappe UI so that, you know, any other app can spin a PWA. Uh, Ionic has its own pros and cons, I would say. So uh, there were uh, some issues we were struggling with. Like, for example, in iOS, it, it used to give like double backswipe, one because of Safari and the other because of Ionic's animation. Mm -hmm. And turns out you can't disable like Safari's backswipe animation. So uh, that was fixed uh, in our app. But Ionic comes with its own challenges. So so let's see. But that's the end goal for any app to like run a PWA with a boilerplate or something uh, from this. So we should be extract able to extract it out from your... Yeah, mm -hmm. Hussein, you were saying something. Yeah, yeah. So like what I got from the question, they want like publishable uh, version of this so they can put it on Play Store. And the piece that does this is called Capacitor. And <laughs> I've had a horrible experience with it. It's like, I have, so no, no, no longer I'm going to touch it. So. <laughs> yeah, the hate is equal among all people you have used. So uh, like Hussein worked on change makers which is an NGO project. So he has dealt with capacitor a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, I made it like PWA and then again, mobile app, then again, PWA and then the approach. That part was okay. We won't do it unless it is required. And that that's like yeah. settled for now. Here also, we don't see the need for like, it's pretty straightforward and works as expected. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and almost mo all mobile phones and like smartphones nowadays have like the PWA capabilities running yeah, on latest. Yeah. Like, Even iOS like 16 supports push notifications as well now. So uh, yeah, the missing so, pieces are like. Yeah, coming together. together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Does that answer your question, Adil? Anything else? So there is one question. Uh, I don't know how you will answer this. I would also like to hear. So what is your next one year plan about this app? That's too much. I was <laughs> anxious I about knew. the release. <laughs> so I was not even thinking about the next one hour. But uh, yeah, like while answering the questions, we already talked about a few things like, like push mm -hmm. notifications, bringing in the attendance uh, piece. Currently, it only has check-ins. Uh, some other enhancements like bulk downloading slips and all that and improving the user experience so wherever we see uh, hiccups in uh, like interacting with the mobile interface uh, all of that should be taken care of but we have tried to make it as polished in terms of UI at least as polished as possible in the first go itself mm -hmm. but of course there will be enhancements coming in and new features and uh, but I'm also telling you that the goal of this is not to bloat the mobile app with all the features that you have in desk. Mm -hmm. Like mobile app is like supposed to uh, ease your everyday ops. So mm -hmm. whatever is uh, necessary will be there, but something like reports and all is not in the plan. So it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Now you can switch to the app. I have turned off your screen sharing. So switch to the tab so you can see like camera that's fine uh so there is a question like do you don't you have any plan to build app using flutter or something like that no we have tried so that we, yeah <laughs> we have struggled with like one of my colleagues has worked with flutter a framework sort of collection of components for mobile and uh there was a lot of chaos so uh, one thing that uh, i was able to build this app along with all the other work for desk as well and multiple other things was having frappe ui as the base right like all the components shared among all our uh, frappe apps uh, 
makes possible for us to do the rapid development so we don't see a need of using fl fr flutter right now and we have also learned from past experiences on um, like the support and uh, the supporting like customizations configurability adding small small components takes so much time when you have frappe ui already like why rebuild why reinvent the wheel right so second thing is like it's web right like yeah that like when you go with the flutter route you are completely on different okay there it comes with its own whatever sdk this that you can't run it in browser now i think they have now they have some web stuff as well but like here it is html css javascript at the end and there it is Go not ahead. so the developer has to switch between that so it wouldn't have been possible if rucha chose like flutter okay now she has to learn dart and then whatever flutter comes with so it's even as like frappe hr will also add components maybe to frappe ui and other apps are also like improving with the same component library so it helps us iterate faster and not while not yeah. compromising on the user experience so yeah so the quality of components like yeah also remains high and then like you contribute back right so if you implemented so, so i'll give an example recently sharik implemented a nice animated tab uh, component and then that went back to frappe ui like other products pulled it and done right <laughs> they can use that component now yeah yeah so the next question is there is one repo in github building mobile app using flutter you have discontinued that app yeah uh, no longer supported that repo has been archived so that was the app which i was talking about uh, so okay this one adil asks were there any shortcomings in the desk that caused such a mobile app to be created so this applies um, to all the generic new products yeah. we are creating so go ahead rucha yeah Your it's thoughts. just uh, like getting to let's say as i said you know something as simple as check ins you have to go to your if you are on the go you have to go to your mobile browser log in uh, get to like search for employee check in list go there and you know create a new doc and currently it's just a button like click right and you are checked in so mobile uh, is easier to work with when you are on the go even for applying leave uh, you can do it via mobile browser but this is more user friendly on the go uh, stuff mm -hmm. like even for game plan right uh, we have a, a progressive web app for game plan like you can install it on your phone so uh, if uh, let's say some discussion pops up late at night i don't have to to read a long discussion i can just open game plan on my phone and be a part yeah. of it so this is just to bring more uh, like improve the usability on the go for any app mm -hmm. yeah makes it crafted ui ux right so yeah, yeah. desk is generic that's fine it has crud it has like also like works well on mobile and everything but some use cases just need to be like specially uh, crafted i would say and that's yeah. the right word here so hr was the most uh, obvious mm -hmm. piece mm -hmm. in the whole thing where uh, employees have to uh, do such some things on the go like even claims and all they can mm -hmm. put in from anywhere even like uploading if you have to click a picture of your receipt uh, you will maybe airdrop it to your yeah, yeah. so like click and then upload yeah just upload so that all becomes easier right so even uh, with working with the mobile browser also as i said you know the tap area is less uh, the ui is it's uh, responsive but it's not it was not built from a mobile first approach so yeah. you see that difference when you compare the desk ui and the mobile front end makes sense so can we use this app in our self hosted server yeah uh, this has been answered already yeah any more questions anything if not yeah thanks thanks rucha for joining in like it was like abrupt i, I remembered you are going to launch it and i said okay let's let's launch it 
live yeah. why not and then uh, she said okay let's do it and then we yeah who said planned it one day ago <laughs> so i was like let me see where i am with with, with all the support and all was going on so i was like let me see if i can release it so uh, but yeah like hosen reached out and this is the first live release we did i think and yeah yeah so uh, first time God, i am trying yeah we didn't break production so <laughs> yeah see. yeah yeah this was the like very first time and, and usually something breaks usually something breaks like people who join in regularly they know that like we break we fix it like we spend hour fixing it and today we ended up doing it in one hour because nothing went wrong but yeah. usually something goes wrong and it's like 1.5 hours to 2 hours easy yeah but yeah lucky us <laughs> cool great experience this is my first time being Joining... on this famous show <laughs> <laughs> famous so like we have to stop using that famous for dance link <laughs> yeah that's like 1 million subscribers 1500 sub so that's famous but the growth is massive right in a short period of time so it yeah, makes sense people are liking the content so as long as they are like coming to watch again i'm going to yeah. create <laughs> there was a lot of shortage of like educational content in the frappeverse which is like this is filling the void so uh, yeah makes sense great yeah so there are some questions if you want to take them like before we go Yeah, one or two. I think we can. Take. Yeah, uh, the important ones. I think one is related to file uploads. Uh, can I do file uploads? So this uh, attachments and expense claim is there, and uh, downloading salary slips is one part. Uh, <laughs> like you do get that generic attachment view in every form. That is not there, but maybe later we can add support, like generic support for any doc type to upload attachment. Like it's doable, not that difficult. Mm-hmm. so kavyas can we expect time sheet access in future time sheet uh, is yeah. not part so of in, hr right or is it like sort of uh, integrates with project module from erp next mm-hmm. uh, we can think of having but i am not sure we are also thinking of like uh, decreasing the decoupling between hr and erp next as much as possible so so let's see maybe once we pull out the uh, uh-huh. you know pwa generic template we can have more apps on this something uh-huh. like that but time sheet can be thought of yeah so if you have any such ideas uh, like reports and all i don't think we'll be going ahead with that but uh-huh. something like time sheet you can log a feature request on github uh, yeah. with a tag for pwa so we can look into it makes sense so yeah thanks again rucha for joining in the questions are over i guess and hopefully you will join me for like a build session later. yeah yeah sure maybe something in the uh, pwa app itself let's see yeah yeah cool cool cool, cool. yeah thanks so, yeah thanks 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 rucha uh, thank you st- uh, thanks everyone goodbye thanks for joining in and uh, i'll see you tomorrow with the build with us an episode 24 i guess yeah 24 <laughs> so Bye bye have a nice day everyone